Hi there everyone, my name is Preetam and I welcome you all to this channel. In this series of Theory of Machine, today we are going to discuss about some other basic concepts of mechanism. So today we will be talking about degree of freedom, lower pairs and higher pairs. If you want to check our last video on kinematic links, what is kinematic links and the types, then I will provide the link of that video in the description of this one. Also, you can check out the whole playlist on theory of machine in the description. I will also attach the same at the end of this. So let's start today's topic with degree of freedom. In order to understand the concept of degree of freedom, we need to understand the type of motion that one body can have. Now for that, let me just quickly show you with the help of the, this 3D example. Here you can see this piece of block. So how many type of motion this block can have? The block can have three translation motion in every axis. For example, let's say this is X axis. So it can go plus X to minus X. It also can go upward, which is plus Y and downward which is minus y also one more direction it can travel is perpendicular to the screen of this monitor which is plus z to minus z so in this way we have three translatory motion additional to these three translation motion the body also can perform three rotatory motion which is again let's say if we want to have motion along z axis then it will rotate like this in clockwise direction and like this in anti-clockwise direction. Similarly, if we try to rotate it along X axis, then it may rotate like this and like this. If we think of rotating this model along Y axis, then it may rotate like this or like this. So in this way, the body at maximum can have three translatory motion and three rotatory motion. So the maximum degree of freedom a body can have is six. Therefore, the degree of freedom of a body can be defined as the number of motion the body can have. So let me quickly show you another example of degree of freedom. Now let's say here we have got this base block and we have got this another block which is kept over this base block. This block either can go toward this axis or can go this axis. Therefore, this block can do translatory motion along X and along Y. Therefore, this block have two degree of freedom. Now let's try to understand it with another example. Here this block which is slotted inside this base block. Now because this block is slotted, therefore it can only travel along this direction or negative this direction. Hence, we can say that the degree of freedom of this box is just one. I hope that the concept of degree of freedom is now more clear to you guys. Now let me quickly show you that concept of degree of freedom is used in more practical examples. Now for example, in this tool, have several links and mechanism having different different degree of freedom. For example, if I talk about this cover, this cover have only one degree of freedom because it only can rotate. Similarly, the cylinder which is attached at the back of this tool have also only one degree of freedom because it can go only toward this direction. So we must understand this concept of degree of freedom and with the help of these practical example, you might have understood the importance of this concept. Now let's talk about this lower pair. So what exactly is lower pairs? Now let's just go down and here I would like to show you these two links. Now here these two links are example of lower pair. And how we can distinguish that these are lower pair and these are not lower pair. Okay. So it is very simple. Whenever there is surface to surface contact among two bodies, in such cases, the pair is known as lower pair. For example, here we have got this sliding motion happening. 
this piece or this block A is moving either this direction or this direction in surface contact with this block B and because these both block have surface to surface contact therefore they form lower pair similarly here also we can see these both links have surface to surface contact results forming lower pair therefore what is lower pair the links or connection having surface to surface contact while in case of higher pair the contact between the two links is either point contact or line contact for example here in this case the contact between a wheel of a car or maybe locomotive have a line contact similarly let's say a ball bearing inside casing of a bearing have point contact with the casing another example could be a road roller or a cylinder having line contact with the road so these all are known as higher pairs let's revise all these three concepts at a glance first of all we understood that a body can have a maximum of six type of motion which is three translatory motion and three rotatory motion and the degree of freedom tells us the maximum type of motion a body can have so let's say if the degree of freedom of a body is six which means that the body can have all types of motion therefore the degree of freedom actually determine the number of motion the body can purchase so then the concept is lower pair lower pair is the links having surface to surface contact and if we talk about the higher pair the body having point or line contact so that's all guys from my side in this video i hope it may have helped you to understand the basic concepts of theory of machine if yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for such content and i will see you soon in my next video till then bye bye